another day. I could sit here and lie and say like everything's been great. Be Another day. Another day, Winnie. Here we go. Okay. First thing I do every morning is open all the blinds because I love natural light. It makes me happy. It makes me feel like I'm not like trapped inside some like dungeon. I don't know. Come on. Let's eat breakfast. The weather has been so good here, oh my god. First coffee sip of the day hits different. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a week in my life. My first full week here in Raleigh. It's Monday. It's technically Labor Day today, but I'm just gonna do a work week in my life, so. I have just been doing stuff around the apartment. I've been kind of busy with that while also like trying to film some stuff for YouTube and work-wise, but today Winnie has a vet appointment in about an hour, so we're going to do that today and then go pick up some outdoor furniture when Dylan gets home from treatment. He doesn't have practice today. I think that they have the day off. I don't really know his schedule. It's like all over the place. It's football season, so he's gone a lot more than he would be normally, So, which is fine. I mean, I, I'm really good at being by myself, which is like, when I say it out loud, it sounds sad, but I like enjoy alone time sometimes. I feel like it's good for everyone to be able to, sorry, my memory card. I feel like it's good for everyone to know how to be good at being by themselves because at the end of the day, I feel like if you're not okay with like your internal self and like how you are and how you're doing, then it's going to affect your friendships, your relationships, all that. So I don't know, that's just like the way I've always been. I've been really good at like, doing things alone, being alone, getting things accomplished alone, self-motivated, all that. I don't even know if I'm making any sense, but anyways, it's Monday, just made a coffee. I've been loving my little coffee station set up. I've been loving the apartment, it's been so nice. I can't wait till we actually have furniture. Dylan's dad is coming down tomorrow for a few days. I don't know how long he's staying, but he'll get to stay in our, in our guest room which will be really nice he doesn't have to get a hotel and he's bringing the couch and the rest of my stuff so that will be really nice to finally have a couch and he's gonna help like hang the tvs hang the curtains hang whatever we need to be hung so that's what's going on i hope everyone is having a great day week whatever time you're watching this and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram i'm posting a ton on there especially apartment updates and stuff so Sorry, I have like this weird like bubble in my throat. Okay, here we go. I need to get ready so we can take Winnie to the bed. Oh my goodness, why are you so cute? When did you get so big? Why are you so big? Hey guys, look at these flowers from the farmer's market yesterday. They're so freaking pretty. 
Like seriously. I was gonna go to Trader Joe's and try to make my own floral arrangement, but then I saw these at the farmer's market when we were leaving breakfast and this whole thing was only 15 bucks and I feel like by the time you get all the stuff at Trader Joe's, it's like more than that, so. Today is the last day with that couch. Are you so happy? Are you so happy? Cause mama is happy. I decided to put jeans on today for God knows what reason. I thought I would maybe not wear sweats for the 10th day in a row. So that's what's going on. I've been loving these sneakers. I got them from, where are they from? Free People. But they're, they're like a, a European brand, I think. I'll link them. So cute. Winnie likes them as well. <laughs> okay. I forgot perfume. And I got water on my shirt while brushing my teeth because apparently I'm five years old. So bathroom, I got this rug, which I'm obsessed with. It's so nice. It's from Target. I could not find a rug that was like the length of this. I looked at home goods everywhere, Amazon, everything, and Target had one, so that was good. And then I want to get one for right here, but they were sold out of white, so also this is gross. Um, we got that little thing set up in the corner, which is convenient, just so everything's not everywhere in the shower. I like don't, I personally don't really like the things that hang down. I just feel like it gets cluttered and like looks messy. I like it to just be clean. So I figured that was like the most simple. I have a good idea for this back wall. So like this wall right here, I want to get um, these three frames from uh, Ikea and do like a little DIY section in here. I'll vlog it if I end up doing it, but that's the update for that. And then I also have these set up from Crate and Barrel I showed you guys in the last vlog. This is not gonna stay in here. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here, but I don't like how it's like colorful. I don't know, I'm a freak you guys about like everything being clean, but haven't really started organizing the drawers. I have like a few things, but yeah, so. Got some Bath and Body Works soap for Dylan and I. That is like the best thing. If you share a bathroom with the boy and you don't want it to smell, get the flower things. My outfit quick, I'm wearing this little Lululemon actually. It's like an active top and I always wear it like with jeans because I love the little turtleneck on it. Uh, it's from Lulu, ignore this, it's just water. I have it like tucked into my bra because it like hits at a weird length. And then these are my that was like such a weird way to show you my jeans. A goldie 90s fit and then my sneakers. So simple and easy like always. And then uh, what else? What else is new? This closet's a mess because I'm just waiting on the rest of my clothes to get here. Basically after tomorrow our lives will be a lot more put together because Dylan's dad has literally all of my stuff on the trailer and he's coming with it. But we did decide that this closet is going to fully be mine and Dylan's stuff is in the guest closet because I'm not kidding when I say this, I was trying to be nice and <laughs> let us share this closet because I honestly don't have that many clothes. I feel like I go through and cycle out my clothes a lot and if I'm done wearing something, I'll either gift it to someone, sell it, whatever. But Dylan, on the other hand, is just like a freaking hoarder when it comes to his clothes like we tried to clean on his clothes and I like would hold up a shirt and I'm like you don't wear this anymore and he's like well I'm gonna wear that when I do this or like he has like a freaking story for everything that he's gonna wear and do but I'm like we cannot share a closet so I need to leave for the vet but I'll show you his closet it's literally jam-packed full and so I'm like okay there's no way that all of our stuff would have both fit in one closet this is his closet it's literally all full. This is all football sweatshirts. This is all football shirts. And we literally have bags of it cleaned out to give to his brothers and his family. So I just don't know where it's still all coming from. Like this stuff needs to be put into the dresser and then all of his shoes are gonna go hanging on the back of a door. But we're just waiting on that stuff to come in. So for right now, this is Dylan's closet and this is where he comes to get dressed because he's got so much stuff. Hey, were you just in a vet? 
Were you? Was it fun or not fun? I think you like it. <laughs> Every time we leave the vet, you guys, she like loves it. We're going to pick up patio furniture. Uh, sweet day park. From a guy that I found on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Sounds bad when you're saying it out loud. Um, he like custom makes patio furniture and he built us a set for our little patio. So we're gonna go, it's not a patio, it's a deck. Is it a patio? There's a patio on the ground. Patio's on the ground, deck's above. Okay, our deck. And we're hoping it's not a scam. I don't think it is because he's been very good about contacting back and forth and we haven't paid him yet. We're not paying him until we get there. Did you get the checkbook? Good job. High five. See, you talk to me like I'm five. Get that shit out of my face. I mean, it doesn't really suck that bad. Hi. How's it going? Good, it's 428. Oh, you know what? It went dark. Uh oh. There you go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. I just like made up this coffee drink. I don't even know if I'm actually going to like it. Hair looks like a freaking mess. Like, seriously, what is going on? My own Starbucks drink order. Created it myself. I got. I just got an iced vanilla coffee with light milk and then I just got the pumpkin cream on top. I just didn't want cold brew so I just got regular coffee so let's see how it is. Want to try it Dylan? I'm good thanks. I mean it literally just tastes like pumpkin cream cold brew. Pale thighs you've got going on right there. It just I couldn't help but stay. It literally looks like you're wearing spandex booty shorts. <laughs> Running into Home Depot quick, but we got the furniture. We're gonna go get a stain and maybe look at some cushions to see if we could put it on there, but. Okay, I have this cup that I've been obsessed with. I've, I got it like while I was in school, but I, it was packed up, so I recently just started using it again. I'll link it for you guys, but it is from Keep Cup, and it's just like this glass to go. Uh, it's obviously for like hot coffee, but I've been doing iced coffee and then just putting a straw through it because I love taking Winnie on walks every morning. The weather's been so nice out, so. So many of you guys reached out to me and told me to try this creamer, but when I was in Florida, I could never find it. Well, hi. I finally found it in Raleigh at the Publix. So it's basically just the creamer that I've been obsessed with all summer, but it's non-dairy, which is great. And then this is my favorite almond milk and oat milk brand. So good. So I do a little of that in here with espresso pot. I ordered like 50 pods, so this should be coming so I can fill that jar up. Winnie, that's no. Winnie. Oh, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, I have to tell you something. Someone commented on my, on my, Winnie, stop. Someone commented on my video and said that you're their favorite tight end. They said number, they said, my son loves number 42, like go pack. And then someone also said that they can't watch my videos anymore because they didn't know you went to NC State and they went to UNC. <laughs> no one likes UNC. So. <laughs> Wait, I, I'll show this vlog too in case they miss the old vlog. You guys ready? This is Dylan being awkward. <laughs> Would you like one of these? Sit. Go ahead. Here you go. I just ran down to the mailbox because I get like a text if I have a package or whatever and I got this in the mail from Maji, which is so exciting because they're one of my favorite swim brands and I literally never thought that they would send me something. So they sent the cutest 
I'm never like a really big one piece person, but this is very, very cute and different, I feel. They have really, really good prints as well. So I think the whole thing is reversible, yeah. So if I don't want the orange to show, so the front is like a very low cut and then the back is just all open, so cute. I'm in a size medium in Maji. If you're looking for a good like quality swimwear brand, check them out, they're really good. So oh my God, I think I just broke our garbage. I just like pressed down way too hard. All right, what do you need that you can't freaking come up in here and tell me? I was on the grocery list. <laughs> I ordered a shower curtain off of Amazon and I got this white linen one, it's super cute. I'll link it for you guys. I'll link all the stuff that I've been getting on Amazon for my apartment on my Amazon shop page under like an apartment tab or something just so you can easily access it all because that I feel like that would be the easiest but I got two okay guest bathroom right now we've got the rug from home goods I just have a few little things Dylan's dad's about to come so I wanted to make sure he had like a towel hand soap all that Jenny got me this candle it smells so good and then this is a little thing I got from Home Goods. I got it for Dylan for Christmas and then I stole it and now it's back here. <laughs> so last night we hung this little liner and then I also got these off of Amazon, these little holders. So I'm just gonna put this on there. This is actually really, really nice. I'm obsessed with this. It's like linen. I love it, so. Could you pause for a second, come help me? No. You really can't? I, I gotta get this done by tomorrow. Okay, I'll just do it myself. I thought you were handy. <laughs> All my stuff. I'm so excited to finally have a couch, you guys. I cannot wait to set it up. So we're gonna unload. We have to hurry because it looks like it's about to rain. So here we go. Everything. Oh my God, it's so big in this small living room. This is literally just the ottoman. Okay, this is all the stuff. It's honestly not that much. And then in here, we have my mirror, my mirror from Ikea. I think I'm gonna put it in this corner. Hey girl. Winnie. <laughs> it's like 6 15 in the morning she has uh, a vet appointment today to get fixed I'm actually really upset about it I don't know why if it's just because it's my first dog or if because I just am nervous or whatnot but I just honestly just feel bad for it and I'm not looking forward to the after process of like the cone and all that so she's getting fixed today nothing I can do about it part of life uh, the doctor I'm taking her to I looked up good reviews on him uh, and the comments what's up with this camera it looks like there's stuff on my face but it's just the windshield I swear um, nothing but good comments about him and reviews so that part I'm not nervous about I just don't want her to be sad and react poorly so we'll see uh, so we're heading there I'm gonna drop her 
She'll be there all day. I'll have to pick her up later tonight. I'm so sorry what's about to happen to you. And you don't even know it. I am so sorry. I love you. World. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I don't know why I'm crying about like, I know she's gonna be fine, but. She was just like so scared getting out of the car. I'm being so dramatic. This is ridiculous. Get yeah, coffee. How can I help Turn you? Turn right onto Capitol. Hi, Boulevard. could I please get a tall um iced uh just a tall iced vanilla coffee with a splash of milk with uh the pumpkin sweet cream on top? All right, it'll be 406 around that corner. Thank you. Thank you. Starbucks prices in Raleigh are more expensive than Florida. Bummer. Okay, I just picked up the baby. She did really good. Surgery went really well, they said. Um, she's going to be probably like this the rest of the night, but I just wanted to update you guys because the clip before was a little intense. So I'm driving home now, but this is... Say hi, baby. She's so sleepy and her eyes are all like wet. It makes me feel like she's been crying. I literally saw her and I started crying again. So I'm an emotional mess today. We're laying in bed. I have some like old towels laying down underneath her so she can, um, in case it's like discharge or anything. I know that's so gross, ew. But I just have her cone off because she literally cannot even eat with it. So I'm just like watching her to make sure she doesn't get at the stitches but she's so hungry she hasn't ate all day i know she's probably starving and thirsty and stuff so i have a million and one boxes to unwrap and stuff to do but i just every time i get up and leave she starts to whine and stuff so i'm just trying to give all my attention to her dylan and his dad just went to go pick up some takeout we've just had a chill night the couch and everything is all set up in the living room and i'm going to show you guys all of that tomorrow so Hopefully the night goes well with her and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Oh my gosh, good morning, you guys. <laughs> this just came in the mail from Amazon. I have to show you. I was talking about it on my Instagram story, but Winnie's onesie came in. So basically it covers underneath there so she can't get at her stitches and she doesn't have to be in a cone all day because she absolutely hated it. And then I also got this. It's just like a blow up kind of, like I literally just blew it up. And this is like a cone for, during the day I feel like this is enough, but I feel like at night, this. Here, let's put this on. Oh my God. I could have probably gotten a medium, but the large gives her a little bit more room. She hasn't, sorry, they're like mowing the grass outside. She hasn't tried to take it off yet and I've had it on for a little. So I feel like this will be way better because the nights have been going terrible with her. So I hope, I'm hoping this helps. I'll link both of these below if you're going through the same thing with your pup. I have need to clean these glasses. It's been a few days since I last picked up the camera for this vlog. I am um, not gonna sit here and lie and say like everything's been great because life honestly has been kind of crazy the left past few days um between like winnie and um, a family friend incident and things like that i've just been having a few couple rough days my um childhood dog back at home baxter the little white dog if you guys ever see him in my videos he's also um pretty sick my dad's called me a few times saying that we might need to um say bye to him in the next few days so I don't know, I just haven't really been in the mood to be behind the camera. Also, Dylan's dad was here. We were just unpacking and setting up. So I wanted to pick up the camera, finish off this video for you guys, because I know this week in my life was all like getting furniture and all that. So I just want, I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. I want to show you. Um, and then the next vlogs coming will be more of like what I've been up to day to day and kind of organizing and things like that, just cause things are still kind of all over the place. We're still waiting on some furniture i have a coffee table a bed frame and a dresser coming but not until like the middle of october so but it's okay there could be worse situations so um i want to show you guys what we've done so hung this little guy this was in my athens apartment above my desk i really like it here just right when you run out the door you can like check make sure you're all good whatever 
Um, here, this all needs to be thrown away. These blankets all over the floor because Winnie's been laying on the floor just because she hasn't really been jumping up on furniture. The bedroom is a whole nother story. I'll just talk about that in another video. <laughs> um, but the biggest change is the couch. I am so excited about the couch, you guys. Um, so you're probably looking at it thinking it's the cloud couch from Restoration, but it's actually um, from Modani Furniture. I reached out to Jessica Stocksdale and she has this exact same couch. Uh, so I asked her if she liked it, if it was worth it. Um, it is still a pricey couch, like I, I'm not saying it's not, but it's definitely nowhere near the price of the Restoration Cloud Couch, and it literally looks the exact same. Dylan and I are obsessed with it, it's so comfortable, so if you're looking for the Cloud Couch but don't want to drop all that money on a couch, check this one out, I'll link it below. So I got the three-seater, I think it's called the Bloom sectional, so I got the three and then I added the Ottoman. I really really love it it's like basically like a down comforter it feels so good and then these cushions come off uh, so I can wash them and all that so so far so good we've been obsessed with it laying on it obviously Winnie is loving it I put her up here um, she's just been very sleepy so I mean look at how freaking cute so okay so that is the couch and then uh, the rug I just got last night I actually set it up by myself while Dylan was at film and literally you guys I had to move all these pieces on my own move them like over here put the rug pad down put the rug down and then move them back I was like dripping sweat by the time I was done but I love it it's the same rug that my parents have in their beach house it's from rugs USA I'll link it for you guys it's always on sale so it was a very affordable price I got the 9 by 12 I got like a really big one so I love it. This little black square right here is the size of our coffee table that's coming, but we just wanted to make sure it was gonna fit and stuff. So I think it'll look really nice once the coffee table's here. Uh, updates from the last vlog. I know you guys said to put the couch this, some of you said to put the couch this way, like I was thinking to cover that pole, but this is way bigger than I thought. So it would literally like come to like right here, we would barely be able to walk. So we just left it open, especially because I like to be able to see the table and stuff because I really like that corner. So we might add two bar stools right there, maybe not. I feel like we have a lot of furniture going on. So we honestly might just leave it like it doesn't bother me that bad. And then we have all of the curtains hung. Dylan and his dad did this this past week, which I'm obsessed with how all the windows look. I need to order one more set because I want it to be like more filled right here just because this window is extra big, but I got all the window stuff off of Amazon. I'll link it to my Amazon shop. I'm gonna start like an apartment decor little section on my Amazon shop, so I'll link that for you guys, but super cute linen curtains. They're on all the windows, and I love them so much. So we got that going on, and then also the rods. I did all the same rods, they're just black. I think it looks good. The table, we are still waiting on two more chairs. They're coming in like a few days, actually, and then let me know what you guys think about a rug in this area. I don't know if it's too close to have like a rug here and a rug here, or if I should do like the exact same rug, but over here, just a smaller one. These chairs are rolling chairs, so I don't wanna like not let them roll, but I feel like it would look better with a rug over here. So let me know what you guys would do. I hung this right here. I think it's like the perfect spot. I love how this is the same color as the rug, so everything like ties in really well. Um, and that is from the Indigo Home and Dorm in Athens, but it's just called like a feather juju hat. You can get them on uh, Etsy. So I think I'm going to do, uh, there's this frame that I found that I have like an idea to do, or I'm gonna do a big piece of art. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna leave that wall blank for a little bit until I like find some inspiration or like see something that I love. And then we have the TV hung, but I'm waiting on a console table. It's gonna just go like this. It's kind of like, they call it like, it's like a floating console table. There's no like cabinets or storage on it. And then I also have some cord covers coming from Amazon. So these will be like not hanging out of the wall. I started watching the Kardashians from season one and I'm already on season three. So it's great. Disaster. I'm kind of just like going through stuff. All those bins are empty. This is all Poshmark clothes. I need to list it. But this room probably looks familiar to you guys. It's just like my decor from my Athens apartment. Um, 
these two side lamps I'm obsessed with. I feel like I'll keep these no matter where I move. Uh, one day I want to put them in my kid's nursery. I feel like that's so cute. So these are from Anthropology. I'm not sure if they still have them. If they do, I'll link them. And then the bedding is from Anthropology as well. It's very, very old, so I don't think they have it. But I feel like this is just cute, kind of girly, so I didn't want this vibe in our like master bedroom. But I feel like it's cute. And then we're going to do curtains, dresser that's not here yet. And then all of Dylan's clothes are finally put away. Okay, and then last update is the outside. We went and picked this up. I showed you guys a few days ago. So cute. We bought some stain from Home Depot. We're gonna stain it. Get some big white cushions for it. I feel like it's so, so cute. And then I wanna get like two little like stump side tables. I feel like that'd be cute. And then a bunch more lanterns. I have that one from Home Goods, but it kind of cracks, so I need to take it back. And then I wanna string like some lights up here. I feel like that would be cute. So very minimal, but cute and it's simple. So that is everything. We're just hanging out. I'm doing some emails back and forth, getting the rest of my month planned out. I kind of have a busy rest of the month when it comes to brand work, which is exciting. I don't like to leave her by herself, so either Dylan or I have been with her for the past a uh, few days. I don't want her to ever be at the apartment by herself. So I have some errands that I need to run. So I'm gonna wait till Dylan gets home from football. It's like 12 o'clock right now and he gets home normally at like 1.30. So I'm gonna do some maybe editing. I have a vlog I need to edit before this one that should be up. And then, yeah, I've been so behind on vlogs, but uh, once I get them all edited, I'll just do like back-to-back -back uploads. So make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I've been posting a ton of apartment stuff on there. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Never get enough, never get enough, never get enough.